2, 1. Se aproximan enemigos. Defiende el objetivo A. Se va a ir todo. Ok, high ground. Notify the tracer to the right side. Focus a little bit more on your front line. Jump was a little off center there. Okay. That's getting pressure, that's okay. Reloading. I'll take high ground again. Take high ground. Yeah, like I, I will put myself in the high ground more here. Um, just so that you're away from this. There's not much you can do about it though. I mean, the only thing that you can do is because you you're essentially you start this fight out. So this fight out and you you like the tracer goes to the right. Junkrat is in here. He just gets destroyed. So you're already down one person here. Your soldier, I'm assuming, is trying to deal with uh the tracer or something. Where's the tracer at? Is she back over here? Uh, she's F eight. <laughs> Yeah, she's a. Uh, she's in here already. Wow. What the hell just? Where, where did she go? Oh, she probably. She, she probably just fucking translocated. Well, relocated. Um. Anyway, that happens. It's uh. It's Kali, right? Because you're, you're exploding. So this is Kali. The actual Kali. Kali needs to play a little bit more of these corners where he can uh, have his shield be able to lick. Right now, that Ryan is free swinging on him. Like, completely free swinging on him. But it's not much he can do because the Diva is like all the way over there, right? If the diva was here, then you could protect them from some of this damage. But since the diva was hired to go to the off center, then all you guys could really do is just heal up. The diva needs to play more with the Rhine, and so that this pressure that your Rhine is going through is not there. Your yeah, Ana is trying to heal too, but that's just pure healing. You're trying to heal too, and it's just so much damage. Meanwhile, you have these two people that are right here dealing with something else. And your Reinhardt's getting pressured by a Zen Orb. Like, in this situation, he needed to fall back a little bit further, uh, furthermore. Uh, just so that he could get more um, defensive positioning. Because, like, right now, he's just running. That's a good anti. And, like, he got two kills out of that. So two kills out of, something that, out of that, so that's good. But, you're low. Well, uh, sorry. Kali's low, so there's not much you could do there, but keep holding up, keep holding shield or whatever. Um, I was surprised that Ana doesn't have, doesn't have Nano by now. Well, she's probably been missing a lot. Uh, yeah, so like, it's just, you guys get shattered. So there's four people on point. One of them respawning because the soldier just died. Where's your junk rat? Is junk rat not back yet? How? Is he just respawning? Was that that fast? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you are like in a disadvantage because you lost two of your DPS. I want to see if Kali had a broken shield. This, no, he did not. That's unfortunate. Even using high ground, you 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 wouldn't be able to save this, honestly. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, immortality for you two. I mean, not much you can do here. Just stall as much as you can. You probably lost. You you lost. You definitely lost this point. You took the high ground. This is what you should have done to begin with. Taking high ground is important. But at least Yana on point. But Yana's a beast right now. You keeping you keeping her up, and she's getting some hits. That's good. That's actually pretty decent. So really good use of high ground there. That's the fact that you need that. But like you can abuse high ground a little bit more. You just gotta be always more cautious of like the long range uh, damage that can go through. So like in this situation would be like the Zen, um, the the Hanzo, and maybe the and possibly the Ana if she gets a couple shots on you, whatever. But like the real threat right here would be like. The f would be like the tracer jumping in on you, and in which case, then you could jump down and juke her. Yeah, that it's unfortunate because you guys don't really have anything to deal with the tracer. Don't give up position, never give up position, not unless you were plan not unless you're planning to like put up a window here, are you? You got, it's, it seems to me like you know that she's there. So I just took her out. That's good. That's too early to put up an immortality field. Immortality field is a, uh, a very important, a very important like defensive ability to use. And if you use it too early, then that's gonna happen. Like you use it too early, and like now you don't have that available. And that's a tool because you, since you're playing the Ana and the and the Bap here. You don't really have anything defensive to protect you from like grab or something like that. Uh, you don't want it, your team is not currently in danger, and you're not in danger, so you, you, there's no need to use this right now. It's, and like I know, like right now, it doesn't seem like it, they're not pushing or anything like that, but like it's it's still a longish cooldown that you don't have right now, and it could become in handy for like to see someone's ass. Never forget that. Okay, right now you should be looking to like set up this window. Position is not terrible. As soon as they commit, as soon as they commit to that choke, I will definitely put it. Good. Came out right on cooldown. Back up here. You lost your soldier. Hans already took high ground from you. Put up a window. Okay, don't need a window then. The shatter. Heal. Free gra you gave him a free graph though. Your junk rat just decided like he had enough of that. And that's good. That's good on him. So that made it so that you guys didn't lose anybody from your uh from that grab. And that 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 gave you a much better uh chance to win the fight. Because like right now they lost they, they used that grab and it didn't gain anything. They used a nano and it didn't gain anything. A tire too. Wow, they use a lot of ults. They do wait, they use a the tire? Where? Oh no, he didn't use the title, he just switched. Okay. So that's two ults wasted pretty much though. So like, if this goes on like this. You identify that you could go high ground. Yana uses nano. Nano shatter. Took high ground, took the zen out. Yana is still, is still healing, so it's not the end of the world. And your Rhine is still like, uh, has nano boost. Who does she give nano to? That's a 
That's weird. Oh, the Zarya. Okay. So Zarya, so like they wasted Nano right here. There's only three of them left. They wasted Nano and then the Zarya grabs. She solo grabs the junk. Yeah, this is... All right. So you have a window still. Now, you could use this window in the combination with your soldier, but with soldier all put it when they're gonna come in and, and a choke. Like, I'll commit it like maybe like when they're like in here. And if you could, you guys predominantly like to hold here, right? So when they start walking forward, I'll put it like right here. And then like, uh, you start doing stuff. If your soldier could get high ground, it'll be better to do it with him here. That way he could get some value here, but he's not doing that. So I would definitely make sure to put them somewhere here. Like you, you have window for a while, so like use right. it. It charges really quick. They do have this dragon coming up, and the only thing that could save your team from it would be the immortality field. There's so many people know that they gotta walk out of it. Mm. Okay, I, I I say things, and the people that are gonna do the thing just die. So I mean, whatever. What are you doing? Currently, you're right here. Yeah. Come to dragon. Don't need to use it yet. Now. Now. Okay. Now. You're just gonna hold this window, aren't you? Hmm. Put the window right there. Put it right in front of, right in front of your Ryan. Do it. It's the window. For yourself. Hmm. If you would have put your window up for your for, for your, when the time your team was up, like in this scenario right here, you would have taken high ground. And right when they committed, right there, you could have put that window up, and you could have wiped these guys a lot quicker, and you and you wouldn't have lost part of your team. Because right here, you you automatically just gave Kali your uh, immortality field. He's not in complete danger yet. He blocked that shatter. So I mean, maybe you maybe you didn't have hope that he'll do it, but he did it. Could have saved that for later. You guys charge, then you use the window for yourself. Mind you, you still win this fight. But like, in a situation where they have better stuff, or even if they like, Azaria was a little bit better charge, and it was just a better Azaria in general, she could've just wiped this whole entire team right here. Last minute Farah, okay. Take high ground, take high ground, take high ground. You're fine, you're fine. Stay in, stay in the high ground, stay in the high ground, you're fine. Stay high ground, always use high ground, especially high ground that has natural protection. Mm. Uh, let's go back. I want to see an overhead of this. Okay, ball comes in. Put him to sleep. You instantly wake him. Either round, whatever. 
your diva is a fucking idiot. And, then, <laughs> and if you know the diva, then uh, point on my way. Point on my way so I can yell at them. Mm. Playing too far away a lot of times, and that's giving Kali some really bad opportunities to stay alive. The diva was with you guys, so guys will be better off. But like, she's trying to like block out the supports, which is admirable, but it's not really gonna do anything when the whole team is running into her. Shatter gets the ball. Does ball die? Yes. Then visor comes out. You keep targeting the mech, which is good because the mech is purple. Then right here, like as soon as that junk guy comes out, that's when you want high ground. Go kill in the tire. So, we definitely need to work on your, uh, the use of your window. Because that window, like, was one window the whole entire game, mind you. They're kind of feeding a little bit. But you, but the amount of times they were, they were doing stuff, you could have just wiped them out with just, with just your window. Mm. And, you, and it charges so quick that you could have had it for the next fight, and the next fight, and the next fight. Mm. Be a little more cautious with the usage with the usage of your immortality field, though. There's a lot of times where you be using it when you don't need to use it, and it can it can come in clutch later. Same composition, pretty much. You guys are hitting the right side. Not bad. Took high ground instantly. I like that. Careful, you identify this a hog there. Jump over. No. Well, you got lucky. You guys broke that. Oh, Caddy's lucky to be alive. So that's a GG, right? Yeah. Okay. So that was just like a roll. One thing that I've been seeing from you a lot, though, is like... When you're BAP, you're either healing or you're DPSing. Not, not both. But with BAP, you could do both of them at the same time. And it, it adds to your old charge and it adds to the amount of healing you do. Literally hold both of them together. You hold both of them together, and you got you, you kind of gotta get the timing right, cause like because of the changes that he got through, you can't really do it consi too consistently. But see what I'm talking about? It affects your rate of fire just a little bit, but not that much to not enough to like matter too much. But you, you, cause like if you notice, this this like an interval of time where the next shot comes out. See that? Same thing here. So if, if, if you get better, like, if you get better at this, boom, window. Simple. So we have to get used to. Straight up healing is faster. 
But there's gonna be times where you don't need to, and you could just you could just do like a little bit of healing, a little bit of damage. And all that all, all that is is just holding both, both buttons down. You can even kind of time it a little bit better. So you, you so you so you can kind of weave it yourself by like holding one of them down and then pressing the other as when you need it. It takes up getting used to it. You gotta kind of master like right, right the right moment to do it, so you can have more control. Or you can just hold them together like that. Mind you, be, be, because of the, the, the changes to their fire, the healing is gonna be just a little less. But if, if you if you know how to weave it yourself, then it, it becomes a lot easier. See. Something to work on. I think that I, just from what I saw. Uh, okay, what's the other one? Busan. Is that, is that yours or is that somebody else's? We'll see. That's yours. You are the last player, so you're number 12. Okay. Playing with Kali. So I like this comp a lot more, at least when it comes to supports and healers, just because you have the speed to help your Ryan in and out, so he doesn't get stuck, and hopefully this uh, Zora doesn't like to roam too much. It would be a pain to play against this Reaper and this uh, monkey though, but the monkey has no real protection. Instantly, okay, you gotta have some sort of discipline when it comes to uh, when to use your shift. You're not taking any damage almost right there. And you just press shift instantly. I mean, I know it's going to help you a little bit more in the prolonged fight, but there are going to be times when you're going to need that. There was very little healing that you gave for, for your shift, which is like a big cooldown of yours that you can use for something else. Like right here. But you had it, you have it back on cooldown. I guess I, I spoke too soon, but yeah, you just be careful about it. It's not, it's not a bad thing to like start it out like that, but you gotta you always be careful about that. Monkeys in your back. God damn it, Cali. Mm -hmm. He wants you. Oh, that Reaper wants you. Oh, he wants you. Dude, they're pushing you to this free right here. Put a window right there and just push their ass. It's, it's free. It's free. Okay, ignore the fight completely. Just go to the point. Not a bad option either. Did their Lucio just beat? Mm. Why? Wait, your Lucio just beat. Why? Why? Mm. Alright. So if you're going to the point like this and you know that they're gonna that, that, where they're gonna come from, don't turn your back to them like that. Like you you need to make sure to be able to see what's coming at you. Right now you have your back to them and like that cost you. Man, that, uh, I just can't get over that beat. Mm. And you're blading into this?
You ever seen like that meme, Thomas, I've never seen such bullshit? That's me right now. Jesus Christ. Two ults down for and a lost fight. Like window. You can put a window as soon as you get up there. Okay, Kali needs needs to let you guys handle this thing. And you as a support, if you see stuff like this from your tank, scream at him. Tell him. Please watch out for Shatter because he, he has to have known that Shatter was coming. Right now he's focusing too hard on this uh, on this uh, on this Bob, and and you guys are completely open. They just could, they, 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 it's pretty much creating a crossfire, and you guys are just too focused on this Bob. Like he could put his shield up right here. You guys could back up a little bit. You guys could deal with the Bob, and he could potentially block the Shatter. But right now he's not doing that. So you guys get caught with your pants down. And to support, you need to when you, whenever you're playing support, you need to wrangle your uh, you need to wrangle your your tanks and DPS. Sometimes you need to tell them what they need to do because they get lost and they get too excited. So monkey to the right. I'm sure you said that, you said that already. You have this window, and this, it, it could be the defining like thing that could win you this fight right here. So I will have everybody come together. Take this high ground, and with this high ground, with you and the McCree and whoever's up there, you guys could potentially put a ridiculous amount of pressure on them. Bruh. 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 Just he needs to communicate better. That, that Reaper didn't die and he was still there. Now uh Kali dies because you're not up there. I was saying don't push that far up. Unless you know everybody on point is wiped, because right now you turn to like deal with the Reaper, and you and the I'm assuming the Gen the Genji or that the McCree. I think that was the McCree. What what one of your DPSs? You go up, so like you turn and and you in they're up there five v four. Because the Reaper didn't die. Reaper's right here. He didn't he didn't get killed. Communication, buddy. Make sure everybody's wiped before you go up there. Beat it. Eh, I, I guess. I, I guess the, the the Reaper hasn't really gotten too much value. He is gonna build up a a a, a death blossom for like party the next fight, but. Mm. Two ult right there committed. So they use Primal and they use Bob. Now, this is my problem with your... Uh, this is my problem with, with, with your Lucio though. You need to be a, you like your team just needs to fall back. You need to call your team back when shit like this happens. Cause that B could have saved you for this particular push right here. What are you doing? You're the main healer. You're the main healer of the group. They only, they only have a little Lucio trying to heal them up when they're getting pushed like that. Ah. 
Yeah, this Death Blossom's gonna hurt. Mercy, mercy, mercy. A lot of this loss right here was just a lot of a lot a lot of like scrambling. Cause like th this could have been your point a lot easier. Like you, your lose your ways is beat too early when and your team doesn't doesn't know how to fall back when you lose your main tank. You need to fall back on point, and you could have potentially had enough with that sound barrier to deal with the primal and the bob. And you guys would have been in a lot better position to deal with stuff. This 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 Reaper is getting almost no value. It took it took him almost a whole entire fight to even build a a, a, a Death Blossom. So, just needs to be better communication with certain things. Kyle needs to be just needs to get better at getting um the reeds on shatters and stuff like that. Cause like getting caught like that is not good. Okay, so let's see how this goes. You guys go forward. Dip, you guys are playing the exact same comp almost, except that you're playing a Reaper instead of the Soldier or the McCree. Well, I guess it was the McCree. And they're playing the exact same thing, only that they're not playing the Reinhardt anymore. They're playing the ball. Well, let's see. It's basically a dive comp. A little weird though. Ball comes in. That Reaper dies, right? Please tell me that Reaper dies. No, he doesn't. Mercy's on top. Ball dies. Get a rest through. You're on fire. So, this is really bad discipline on their part. They lost this fight, and instead of going and like Resetting, they just feeding you guys all charge. You guys both know the ashes there. Reaper should be able to deal with the ash, no problem. This is Ash Hat. She just went right back on high ground. So Jareepa didn't even kill her. <sighs> That's rough, buddy. I mean... The bob on point, but then you guys add to the bob. There's too many of them. <laughs> your uh, your 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 McCree needs to like, I don't know, like I, 
I, I wish I could take some of these DPS and beat them over the head. They need to either die on point or they need to like actually fall back and not juggle around like that with like almost no health. That's not even on you. Like you could you could say what you want, but they won't listen to you. You do have this window though. If you coordinate this window together, you guys could do a lot with it. Focus on focus on your front line. Too early, way too early with that. No one's in. No one is in danger. No, literally, no one here needs that. Mm. You could have used it right now. Mm. See what I'm talking about when it comes to cooldowns? If you're too early with BAP's cooldowns, you are going to be at, at a significant disadvantage. That's a losing fight. Leave. Leave. Leave or get yourself out. Every time that you have an opportunity to reset by eating yourself off a ledge, do it. If you know they're going to kill you, just jump off. The reason why you do that is because otherwise you're literally feeding the, the enemy team all charge. Do not feed your, the enemy team or your health and all charge if you know it's a losing fight already, if you have the option to jump out. It's just, you know, something that you need to work on. I think everybody needs to work on, honestly. Mm, doesn't look good. You need to fall back. Fall back all the way. Okay, so you have to know that they have a grab coming up. Your Lucio doesn't have Barry yet, so it's going to be up to you to mi mitigate the damage from this. Uh... Oh, never mind. I'm a fucking idiot. You, 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 I mean, you have to know that they have a uh, mines coming up. And I mean, I'm looking at the wrong fucking heroes. You don't know they have mines coming up at this point. And the and Bob. <sighs> it's gonna be rough because like Lucio doesn't have bar doesn't have beat yet, so like <sighs> it's gonna be up to you to deal with it, with with, with the immortality feel. So don't waste it. <laughs> yeah, Reaper shooting you from behind. Emo. Good choice in the positioning. Go to high ground. Go to high ground. Go to high ground. I don't see you guys winning this. Wait, what? Okay. I was wrong. Couple left. But your, Reap your, your Reaper and your McCree are doing stuff. Yep, go to high ground. Okay, so you guys got that. 
a little shaky, but you guys got it. Um. Need to be quicker, a little bit quicker on your on your decision making to go to high ground or not. And then you have to, you always gotta look at what you have for support to see what could balance it out. Say composition. Oh, is a pharmacy? Interesting. I'm curious to see what you're gonna do against this pharmacy. Let's go back. Cause that was that was a lot of shit. All right, we're gonna go with the same thing. So you at least got a couple counters for against against this Farah. So not the worst thing. Behind the shield, you get, you know it's a far already up there somewhere. Since you jump a lot, Pretty standard stuff, honestly. Nothing too crazy. I can't even put a nano. I guess I'm gonna have a shadow soon. Okay. Because so far you always want to play a little bit more in the back. You don't want to get caught in between this stuff. So yeah, it's good. Good day, guys. Fall back. Oh, see that low? Trent's Cali. <laughs> he still has shield. I can see I can see why I can see why you did it, so no problem. To see McCree even kill somebody with that? <sighs> Guys win that. I mean, it's not a whole lot to say in this particular one. You get, they, they're kind of walking into you and getting picked apart here and there. And you guys are falling back as you should. Um, you do have the shatter and the window coming up. So you could probably line up a window when they'll come into you again like that. <coughs> Assuming Kali doesn't die, of course. Thank you. 
Your Reaper is definitely dead. <laughs> Did your Lucio boop this fucking boop this fucking Bob? And now you guys are in trouble because of that? Yep. When Wendo also amplifies healing, so you could have just kept healing him through there. But I gotta go back. I'm sorry, I gotta go back. Careful. You save your Reaper. This man yeets Bob, this person yeets Bob, and your Lucio decides, I'm assuming it's your Lucio, to boob him into you guys. Oh, I have no words. That's just, I don't know. Mm. They nano, they're Reinhardt. You heard it, you heard it, you don't have immortality field available right now. They nano Rein. Kali just eagles, eagles the ever and fuck out of him and just catches him slipping. Charges him. Which is the cla the classic Cali move of like shattering and charging instead of just starting starting to swing like crazy, which is kind of infuriating sometimes because you just want to be able to sw swing and get more damage and kill more people. But you put a window up, and you're benefiting from it. Your Zarya should be benefiting from it. Your Lucy should be benef benefit from it. You should be able to heal them too through this to get more healing through because your Cali is kind of low. But Frank comes in and he ults too. So one, two, three, three ults. Three ults? Yeah, three ults. Against one, two, ish. Reaper fed. You you press you press your shift too too liberally, I will say. One time that I would, I don't mind Kali charging. That was a good charge to save himself. Dude, kill that Mercy first. Kill the Mercy first. Mercy, like, Mercy's keeping, it's it just pocketing the, the, the Lucia right now. Target focus needs to be better. Mercy's right there. She's not, like, as... Lucrative, especially on that point, as like your Lu the Lucio. So definitely kill kill the Mercy first, then go for the Lucio. If you guys have better better focus fire, you should you would have been done with that a little bit quicker. Um, definitely you you're, you're still using your windows too. I don't know too weirdly sometimes. And you, you you could use them a lot, especially when they're running into you. You could just use them. Uh, and they, you're gonna kill somebody, or you're gonna make them f reposition or something. But you could also remember that you can also amplify the healing on, that you do to it. And if you do the the healing and damage count, like thing that you could that I showed you, you could even do you could do even more to them. So it'll be more disrespect. 
Um, there's a couple of stuff you gotta work on. Once to take high ground to get better advantage, when not to. Um, and then like you, you're too early sometimes in impressing your shift ability to heal you to, to the AOE heal. And sometimes if you time it right, then you can have it again when your team takes more damage. But like when we just poke, you don't need it. You don't. You, same thing with same thing with the with the immortality field. You don't need it in situations a lot of times where you you using it way too early and that that catches you off guard afterwards because you don't have it. It's it's pretty much an all. It's a defensive all pretty much. So just always think about how to use it. Sometimes you panic and you use it whatever, but like I see you a couple games here, just use it too liberally, you know. All right. That's my the, the best I could do right there. It's could you, it's, it's a little harder because like they kind of like stop stomping and you guys just start start running them over a little bit more. Um, definitely need to communicate better with your main tank. Like I'm not I don't have comms, so I don't know what was happening there. But like I would definitely work on that. That'd be all.